You wouldn't think it's my summer break, but there is a reason I'm awake that early. Is that today I have quite a busy day? Despite the fact that I no longer have like exams or I'm basically done with first year of uni. Also, my first instinct when I wake up is to check my phone, obviously, or Gen Z. But I've actually set myself like time limits and I'm not allowed to use my phone from midnight till 10 a.m. I also put it on grayscale, so I'm like less tempted to use it. Anyways, I don't know why I'm telling you about this. As you can see, I have a sports bra on. I'm actually doing a Chloe Ting challenge and I'm on day 12, I think. Let's do it. disclaimer this video is sponsored by a student accommodation company called Vita Students who reached out to me to participate in the launch of their new building in Lewisham, London and this is the event I'm attending today I'm very very excited um, but more on them later I was thinking about this outfit, but I think the crop top <laughs> and the fact that you can see my belly makes it less official. I'm not sure because I it's not warm enough to so just go with this. And if I put a jacket on, that's too many layers. So we may change our clothes again, again, again. Like literally, I spend so much time picking my clothes. The more clothes I have, the more complicated it gets because like the more combinations I can have. I guess it's capitalistic problems. So I got ready. Let me show my outfit. I went for a very simple one with this like white top, it's long sleeve and then the leather jacket and my lash bag. I put um, like the blazer in my bag because I don't know if it's gonna be... Because look at the weather, it's literally so warm and it's like, it's gonna be 17 degrees! I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I gotta go because it's a long way. I'm gonna take my book with me. And yeah, I'm very excited for this. It's like my first in-person YouTube activity, I would say. I should stop talking because I gotta go. I'll see you there. So as you can see, I arrived at the Vita student accommodation. The room I'm showing you right now is the large room with an access for disabilities. I'll show you in a second when I go into the bathroom. My first impression was, this does not look like student accommodation, like this is way nicer. Basically a full equipped studio because it has both a bathroom, a shower and a kitchen. I feel like a proper YouTuber. As we enter, there's the double bed. The bed looks very comfy and I wish I had a double bed in my room. The fun bit is that it opens. I think this is the weirdest um, shot you'll find on my channel. You can store like all of your luggage, boxes, clothes that you don't wear. This is the desk. Now I think this is my favorite part of the room because it just, it's a huge ass desk. In my first accommodation, it was like a UCL accommodation, the, the desk was literally half or a third of the size of this. This one is definitely large enough to fit everything you need. You can even like put some books up there. This is the TV, you can see me, I guess. This is an overview of the kitchen. Microwave, I guess this is the fridge. It has a stove as well, so everything and more than you can need. I told you I'm gonna wear the blazer and I wore it and I feel very fancy. And I do feel like I'm selling this apartment to anyone, but honestly, it's just, just so nice. I'm just like fangirling a bit. And now we move on to the bathroom. As I mentioned, the bathroom uh, accommodates people with disabilities. Same with the toilet. I really like, like the bathroom looks very like fresh and clean and 
modern, I suppose. There's me again. So many mirror selfies. I already took some. And the shower with um, a sitting area on it. So yeah, that was basically the tour of the apartment. I'm gonna take my stuff and... Oh, <laughs> what I haven't shown you. Because it con it's a construction site, I had to wear literally this. I've never looked so dumb in my life, but... Safety first, kids. Remember, safety first. The residence is located right next to Lewisham Station, which I'd say it's quite far when it comes to commuting from the city center. It's looking around like 50 minutes to get there, but it is close to other parts of London. It takes 10 minutes to get to Borough Market and around 15 minutes to get to Greenwich and Goldsmiths Universities. Prices for the accommodation start from around 260 per week. The room that I showed you in particular is the accessible room. It costs 277 per week. I know that standard student accommodations tend to cost a bit less, but with Vita students, you're also getting the fun activities such as pottery classes, pizza making, wine tasting, regular social events. And besides all of that, the price also includes free breakfast from Randy to Friday, you get 24 seven security, housekeeping team. And so all in all, I think the price kind of reflects the experience you're getting. Vita student accommodations range across the whole of UK. I'm gonna list the cities here. I'm not gonna read all of them because there's quite a lot. When it comes to my personal opinion, I think that the biggest advantage is that you will get your money's worth because the building is beautiful, the rooms are so well equipped, you have basically a full studio for 260 and you still have the benefits of living in a student at home. But yeah, thanks again to Vita students for sponsoring this video and you'll find more information on their new building in the description below. And now back to the video. Mind the gap, please. This is Greenwich. My stocks are not doing great. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but like I started investing or like trading just like small amounts of money. Well, like I guess it depends for whom. I try to just like buy stocks or index funds when they're very low and or like just falling and sell them. But yesterday I bought S&P 500 because it was falling, but now I woke up and it was falling again. Like it keeps on falling. So, but you know, always hold bestie. That's my motto. Um, I'm not gonna sell anything. Get all of them. <laughs> vegan? Are they vegan? Yeah, good quality. <laughs> Now I basically have to rush to meet my friend, Paulina. I'm wearing the blazer. I feel so fancy. Let me show you. That's the outfit with the blazer. I changed the top for the t-shirt so it's more of a casual thing, but yeah. What is this? It's a vegan bag with rice and some, I don't know, this is cabbage. And bok choy, it's bok choy. I think the view looks so nice today. It's been a pretty long day for me. Also, I made myself... I don't know why I look so weird, but it's Dalgona Coffee. I don't know if you know her. She was famous. She was popping on TikTok like about a year ago. I actually still like it, like from time to time. And I feel like having something sweet, but I don't feel like having dessert, I'll have the Dalgona Coffee. Anywho. Uh... So yeah, today was a very, very fun day. It's actually not even done because I think me and the girls are going um, to get drinks somewhere. I think it's London Cocktail Club. When it comes to like drinking out in London, if you're going to like a cocktail place or you want a cocktail, each cocktail is around like 10 quid, I would say, in London. So with happy hour, they often have two for 10. Two days ago, I went with Dimitra Logan Bay and we got four cocktails each. So we spent 20 pounds each in total, which is a bit crazy, but like I allowed myself because it was like the first day that stuff were open and we sat inside. The cocktails were, they were delicious, but honestly, I don't think they were worth it. I think they water it down so it's like it has less alcohol. So today I think I'm just gonna have a cider because I just spent so much money on food. I've been out with Paulina and I've had this weird like 
you know, Chinatown and vegan food, you know this emoji? The Chinatown and vegan food is not really this emoji. Well, they have vegan food, but I'm like always, whenever I order anything in Chinatown, I'm like, is this vegan or does this just randomly will have chicken or like seafood in it? You never know. I ordered a sweet corn and vegan chicken soup because I was like, hmm, sounds good. Uh, let me try it. Okay, the flavor itself, if we separate the flavor from the soup, it was okay. But then the soup, it was like this had this gooey texture, like it has a lot of starch, you know? And then there was no corn. There were just like those little vegan chicken pieces. It was not a vibe. Um, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. I'm on the phone. No, I'm filming. I try to always go with like... Well, not always, but I try to like order stuff I haven't ever tried, but I'm always disappointed all the time. Ooh, see that girl singing and dancing queen. We just came back from our night out. It was really fun, but. I'm tired, it's like 1 a.m. So yeah, that's it for this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for all the support you're showing me every single day. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.